Good afternoon and welcome to my page. Um, I thought I would hop on real quick and do a video while the little one is asleep. Uh, we might get interrupted from the older brother or my dog. <laughs> they both they both become a little needy at times. Um, one of the most common questions that I get, or the most frequently asked question that I get is what are your favorite Pampered Chef products? So I thought, tis the season, let's do a little, these are a few of my favorite things. Okay, to start things off, this little thing right here is by far my favorite Pampered Chef item ever made. Um, I have about four of them. I keep one in my trailer for traveling and the other three are here at the house. I use this every single day. It is the large mix and scraper. I use this every single day, sometimes two or three times. Um, I love it because as you see, it is a spatula, a spoon, a mix and a scraper. <laughs> um, I use this a lot for cooking, not so much for baking. I have my other spatulas for that, but I use this for cooking. And whenever you're cooking eggs or stir fry or anything where you need to move stuff around, this is the best because it's able to work as um, a scraper and mix everything around so you get everything um, mixed up and you don't get your egg wasted on the side of the pan while you're trying to scramble them. This right here is by far my favorite, the large mix and scraper. This is something new that I got with my party or in my kit. I, um, it, there, it's the, sh the large chef tongs. I like it because you can use this while you're cooking as well. So while you're trying to flip the chicken um, or flip any, anything you need or even toss a salad, um, you can use this, the large chef tongs. I think it's really neat because you know how the other, how there are some, you know, sold at other stores that you have to, you know, pull the little thing at the bottom to get them to close with well, these. You simply do it. You want to cook, put it upside down. Ta-da! You want to close it. There you go. <laughs> these are really cool. I love those. Now this is something that I know is a favorite for a lot of you. This is our brownie pan. Um, but it can use it can be used for more than just brownies because if you're like me, I am a center lover. I love the center of the brownies, not necessarily the edges. However, between me and you, I will never turn down a brownie. <laughs> so we have this. You can also use this to make individual um, omelets or quiches. Um, you just mix up your eggs, put what you want in it, sausage, bacon, any vegetables, pour them in here, throw them in the oven, and you have mini quiches. Um, so that's another one of our favorite items. Um, this right here is our manual food processor. This is the item that I did not know I needed until I got it. Um, it is amazing. If you are like me and you love pico de gallo or you love um, guacamole, this makes it so simple. Or if you're like me and hate chopping onions, this is what you need right here. It does have a sharp blade, so you have to be careful around the little ones. But I will show you, if you look in here, it doesn't have the hole that some of them have where you have to worry about stuff getting stuck in it. So what you will do is you will put that in, you put your veggies in it. For me, whenever I make my pico de gallo, I literally quarter a tomato, oh, throw it in there, throw in some onion, like like a quarter of an onion. Also, um, throw my jalapeno and my cilantro in there, squeeze a little bit of lime, put this on top. It has a locking mechanism. This comes up, take a look how easy this is. Can you see that up close? So amazing. I love this. Honestly, if you've had pico de gallo or fresh salsa probably every day since I've gotten this in my kit. It was amazing. Here's another thing. This is our large batter bowl. These are amazing. The small batter bowl right now in the month of November is um, our hostess, um, I'm sorry, our customer gift. So if you spend over $80 in the month of November, um, you will get a free small one of these. 
Um, this is perfect. You, you pretty much can do anything with this. I love it because if you need to melt butter, like if you're starting a recipe and you need to melt butter, you don't have to use a different dish. You can simply put it in here, put it in the microwave, then add your other ingredients, whip it up, especially with your mixing and scraper. Mix it up. It is a perfect batter bowl. You can also, um, it is also good, like if you're making cookies and you mix the batter or you, and you mix up your um, cookie base, and a lot of recipes will call for you to put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. You can do it right in the bowl. It comes with a lid. I just have it in my cabinet. So you can just slap on the lid, put it in there, wait, take it out, scoop, and make your cookies. So that's another thing I love. This, what I had inside of it, um, is such a handy measuring tool. Right here you have liquids or solids you can use with this one thing. So let's say we need a half a cup of milk. Well, there's the half a cup right there. You pour your milk in it, pour. I mean, pour. <laughs> there you have it right there. Oh, but you have to add peanut butter? Everybody knows how hard it is to add peanut butter to a recipe. You lose half of it trying to scrape it out of your um, measuring cups. But with this, it makes it simple. A half a cup of peanut butter, well, let's measure it out. Here we have, can you see that? There we have it on the half a cup. You put the peanut butter in there and simply, and it, all the peanut butter will be in there. Less mess. So this is another thing that, that I didn't realize how awesome it was until I got it. I have always used some sort of kitchen shears in my kitchen. Um, it's just easier for me, like cutting bacon, um, cutting the chicken, um, anything like that. Um, but these, these are so amazing. These, they are new, so I will say that, but they can just seem to just cut through anything. The, um, description even read that they will cut through chicken bone. I haven't tried it, but that's pretty impressive. Um, I generally use it for um, while I'm cooking, like I said, if I need to chop bacon, if I need to um, cut the meat for, for my boys whenever we had steak last night. Um, I used these instead of getting you know a knife. I use these to just chop their steak up and serve it. So these are very, very worth it. Um, here is another thing, it, oh my gosh, this, I was super excited about, this is, oops, this is from our rock crock collection, this one right here is the everyday rock crock, and this is the base, but one thing I love about this is that I have the different sizes, I have the everyday rock crock, but I also have the Dutch oven rock crock, crock and they both fit into this base. What is really cool is that this can be used in the microwave, it can be used on the stove, or it can be used in here. You can also put it in your refrigerator after you're done, so it saves a lot of time. So for example, if I'm gonna be making, well, later I'm gonna be making, um, we're on the keto diet, so I'm gonna be making um, a keto tamale pie. But the good thing is that I can cook my chili base in this. So I will put this on the stove. I will brown my meat. I will add my um, other ingredients to make the base of my dish. Then I will take it out and um, add the um, keto cornbread topping on top and then put it straight into my oven, cook that. Then I can put it on here to keep it warm. So it's it's awesome. And then after it's done, if there's any leftovers, which there normally aren't, but put the lid on, put it in my refrigerator. Awesome. I do have a few other things um, that I forgot to grab and show y'all. Um, two things. You know what? Let me go ahead and do that. Stainless steel non-spit wok. This 
right here. Besides this, this right here is my favorite. I love this because I'll be honest with you, I have only owned one wok in my life and it was a ceramic wok and everything stuck to it so I rarely used it. Nothing sticks to this. So I make stir fries very often. I make um, the keto cauliflower rice very often and I use this. It works amazing. This is, this is by far one of my favorite items as well. Hope that doesn't vanish. The other thing is my strainer. Oh my goodness, this is another thing, just like the manual food processor that I did not know I needed. I, if you're like me, I rinse everything. I rinse my rice before I cook it. I rinse the blueberries, the strawberries, everything before I give it to my children. Um, this is awesome. You can put the stuff in. It has this little handle. So it can either, you can, I use it to fit perfectly on my sink and it, while it's sitting there, the water spout goes right over it. So rinse everything out in a breeze. So you can rinse, you can rinse your rice, rinse your berries, rinse your the quinoa, anything before cooking it. So this is another thing that I absolutely love. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to y'all later.